Many interesting vehicles have been built in Lordstown. A van, a Vega, then a few electric pickups. Now, possibly the most interesting vehicle ever. First News senior reporter Jerry Ricciuti gives us a look. In what executives are calling a milestone day for Foxconn, the first all-electric tractors to be built in Lordstown rolled out of the assembly plant. And for Monarch, it's been five years in the making to, to get to this point. The new Monarch Mark V tractors were produced over the last two weeks, and company co-founder Mark Schwager tells me the focus for now will be selling the autonomous vehicles to smaller farms in California where Monarch is based. We're sold out for the majority of this year, and uh, we're scaling up here pretty, pretty significantly uh, over the next couple of months. Those pushing the development of these tractors say they will allow them to use less pesticides on their properties while also reducing the need for diesel-powered tractors hurting the environment. So we're independent, we're able to help get into the energy business, uh, and we're able to help protect our planet while we migrate away from fossil fuel. So this is a big piece. While we wait for production to begin on the new Fisker Pair and prototypes of the Indy EV Indy One, Foxconn's vice president of EV production in the U.S. tells us his company is working to reach agreements with even more automotive partners. We need to do our part, our part, to drive business and transform the Mahoney Valley into the Voltage Valley. But for now, executives aren't saying much about when announcements on those will happen. And my short answer is very soon. In Lordstown, Jerry Ricciuti, WKBN 27 First News.